So the difference between regular and diet soda, clearly more than just the taste, and our science guy Steve Spangler shares a simple experiment that you can try at home to uncover some of the real differences in your favorite sodas in today's Science Minute. Hey everybody, welcome to Steve's Science Minute. I'm Steve Spangler. Today we're in the kitchen looking at the science of soda. Take a look at this. Unopened cans of soda. You can tell the difference, believe it or not, if it's diet or regular, not by looking at the labels, not by looking at the logos or anything like that, but by truly submerging them in water. Look at this. Regular can of soda, drop it down inside. It sinks, you know that. Regular uh, diet can of soda, Wait just a second, hold on here. A regular can sinks, uh, diet floats. Wait just a second, regular ginger ale, it should um, sink. And uh, let me see, uh, diet Mountain Dew, and it floats. What is the difference between diet and regular? The cans are the same size, the volume is the same size. It must be what's inside, it's absolutely right. If you take a look at the label here, there's sugar inside here, a lot of sugar, between 37 and 49 grams of sugar. How much is that? About 18 to 25 packets of sugar are in the regular one, and of course there's just artificial sweetener. Doesn't mean that this is good and this is bad, it just means you can tell the difference because of density. Regulars will sink, diet will float, you will have a blast floating and sinking in your kitchen. I know the things that you do. That's your Science Minute. I'm Steve Spangler.